What's up guys, DP Connect at DLife HD and we just want to say it feels great to be back. We've really missed making videos. Either way, today we're going to talk about the game assembled. Guys, this game is borderline genius and as we go through the review, you will see why. On a side note, we're going to try to release two videos a month, maybe more depending on schedules. Be sure to follow us on Twitter where we post gameplay and footage and share our opinions almost daily. Alright, let's get into it. Firstly, let's go over game modes. There's only one game mode in this game, and of course, that's story mode. So let's go over the settings that you may have. This will be pretty short since there's not much here either. All there is in the settings is a voiceover effect and a volume slider. That's it. With that said, let's go over the controls and gameplay. Guys, this is where the game really shines. It was made especially for mobile and touchscreen devices. If you were ever a fan of taking electronics apart, tinkering and seeing how things move and how they are made and why they work, this game is for you. Just the fact that they managed to achieve the same feeling with just a touchscreen is very impressive. So you can touch and drag objects, you can twist things, you can press things in, it's all so cool. I'd say the controls and the gameplay is probably the star of this game, but the following things also just add to the experience. Let's talk about the UI and graphics. The interface is freaking beautiful. From the little things like tapping the coffee to pause the game, which then also takes you to the settings, to how the story is told through a timeline of events by swiping up and down, and how every single level has its own color and style. Also on the level select, every level has its own object that is animated every time you slide through the levels. It's flippin' beautiful. The graphics are awesome. They're more simplistic than we, we realize. The, the shapes are simple, but the art style on top of the shapes the create a certain beauty, and that's the thing that makes the game look so different. Everything in it serves a purpose. It's all three-dimensional and really clean looking. It's almost like the game itself is cell shaded which works perfectly with the story's art style as well. Music and sound. Leaving Izzy hiding in the garden, I walked around to the front of the house and rang the doorbell. It was only then I noticed my favorite overalls covered in grass stains. The music is beautiful. I know this is going to sound crazy, but it feels like you're either floating on air or just at some jazz bar just relaxing. I've ironically never been to a jazz bar, but I'm guessing that's what it feels like. It fits the game so perfectly and we can't wait for you guys to experience it. The sound is amazing. Every single move has a certain sound. Everything from when you take something out, move something, or screw a nail back in. The voice acting is quite good. I was honestly impressed it really draws you into the emotion that the main protagonist may be feeling and how her story develops. It's great. I think the only annoying thing is when you try to get something fixed, the customer keeps on antagonizing you with little disses like, are you gonna fix this? Things like that could irk some people a bit, but it's honestly kind of accurate when it comes to customer service. And last but not least, the story. Now we're not saying that it's an amazing story because it's not, but it has its moments that are really good. She's a traveling repair girl that travels a different part of the world and makes money by creating relationships and helping people fix things. That's really cool, but that's not the main part of the story. Sure, she travels the world, but along the way she finds meaning in relationships, which then helps her with her personal relationships as well. We're not going to tell you straight up what the story is about because we don't want to ruin it for you. But it's cute. With all that said, this game is absolutely D-Life HD approved. I'm telling you right now, it's probably the best mobile game we've ever played. If you have an iPad, definitely play it there. It'll probably be more immersive for you. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed our first video back. Let me know what you think about Apple Arcade. What you think about this video. Assemble or games released this past week in the comments below. We love talking to you guys. Also, remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Check our Twitter account for gameplay of our latest Apple Arcade releases. But most importantly, remember to always stay one up.